Well, hi, let's talk about bath salts. Well, the bath salts we're talking about here are actually called synthetic cathinones, not the ones we use for bathing. Say it with me, synthetic cathinones. Good job. Synthetic cathinones are drugs and are not found in the natural world, unlike this plant. It's in the name too, synthetic. It's man-made, see? Synthetic cathinones are chemically similar to a real plant found in nature, called cat. That's K-H-A-T, not the pet. Cat is found in East Africa and Southern Arabia. It's eaten by people for its mild stimulating effect. But that's a whole other thing altogether. Now, let's get back to synthetic cathinones. Typically, they look like bath salts. That's how they got the name. But they're not found in cheap plastic containers that you find at Bath & Body Works. Oh no. They come in little packages a lot like the ones you keep in foods to keep them fresh or dry. Some names include bath salts, flaca, cloud nine, ivory wave, blue silk, vanilla sky, energy one, plant fertilizer, plant food, insect repellent. Adding on, more often than not, they'll be labeled as plant food or not for human consumption. But like most warnings pointed towards humans, we just ignored them. There are a variety of ways to ingest them. For one, you can stick them in your cake hole. You can snort it up your schnoz. Put them under a lighter. Stick them in a needle. You piece of garbage! There's still quite a lot we need to learn about synthetic cathinones and what they do to the body and brain. Obviously. But what we do in fact know is that they're similar to cocaine, amphetamines, and ecstasy in quite a lot of ways. To be honest, synthetic cathinones just seem like bootleg cocaine. But hey, you know what they say about bootleg fireworks. They can be a lot more dangerous if you don't know what's in them, right? You know, I think I was a little harsh on synthetic cathinones research. Let's give it another shot. Well now, here's something. Much like I said earlier, synthetic cathinones are similar to cocaine, ecstasy, and amphetamines in some respects, including under the influence of synthetic cathinones, as well as after the consumption, one can experience anything from confidence to paranoia or depression and anything in between. No experience with synthetic cathinones is the same for anyone, which makes it even more dangerous, since you don't know what you're in for. Let's see if we have any more information here. It says, uh, there needs to be more stuff here. Hey reader, care to give us a hand? We smarty scientist guys are busy researching the bigger drugs. The lack of research, doesn't that mean that little to no people are actually using synthetic cathinones? Well, yeah, but there still needs to be more awareness. Because who knows what can happen? They're unpredictable and dangerous and just an all-around bad idea. I'm getting fired up just thinking about it. I need a nice bath to relax from all this synthetic cat talk.